Testing the Tenergy uh, Graphene 7.5. I've just fully charged it up. Uh, I'm just going to start this, the stopwatch and uh, plug it in and do the readings. 796 is out at the moment. Fall into seven eight nine, and then I'll edit this and show you. I'll write get all the readings like before six hundred one two three four five six ampere hours, and um, I'll uh, put it on this chart and uh, compare it to the six six. Voltage is falling, we take it off at 6, 7, 8, 7, 9, there's 7.9 ampere hours it got to when it fell. fell six. The actual temperature of this battery is not that hot. Uh, with this um, with this display it's 31 degrees C. I think this one is more accurate than the others that I've been recording with. So I'm going to put down 31 degrees C at the end. Uh, so the next test to be with the uh, LRP, LRP75. Oops, that's Okay, here we go with the LRP uh, stock spec 7500. Uh, I don't really need the stopwatch, but I'll uh, start it anyway. Seven eight nine drops to seven eight three. Capacity at six point zero is there. Seven point three four. Seven point three four ampere hours. Didn't quite make 7.5. Temperature of battery with this um, meter is 35.3. Okay, ultimate 7.5. Uh, just over 20 degrees in here. Um, start stopwatch. Don't need that really. Put this on. 796 fall into 789 okay I record all the results on the uh, sheet with all the others I've done and um, and uh, compare Yeah, the voltage is going, we drop it at 6, 7.7 7 milliamps, that do 7.7, uh, stop this watch, which is there, 15 minutes, 33.4, 33.5. Internal resistance of the ultimate 7.5 is 1.1, uh, measured on this meter. Measuring the IR, the graphene 7.5 measures 1.10. The results of the tests I've done on the Turnergy Ultimate and Graphene batteries 6.6 .6 and 7.5 and also compared it to an LRP stock spec 7.5. I've got all the results here. They were tested in exactly the same way. Um, I've got the weights and then the voltages under the uh, load and um, I've also measured some temperatures though my um, temperature meter was uh, not working properly. Anyway looking at the results um, I'll get it a bit closer and we look at it bit by bit. Um, the weight, you've got, let's look at the turn G Ultimate 6.6s and Graphene 6.6 basically weigh the same. Um, the IR, I've had a lot of trouble reading the internal resistance so uh, 
we forget that in a minute, minute. Starting it off, the voltages start off at 7, 8, 7, 8, 3, 7, 7. 1 ampere hour, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. The voltages on the two remain exactly the same. They might as well be an identical battery in every way. And um, the uh, capacity 6.85, 6.9, so they're good. But then you've got the Tandy Graphene versions of the uh, 7.5 and the Ultimate 7.5. Uh, they both weigh 316 grams. And uh, they both start off at 7.96 volts, dropping straight to 7.89. And then holding at 600 milliamps, 7.76, uh, 7.77, that's near enough, 7.772. At one ampere hour, two ampere hour, seven point five. This is about the end of your race in the seventy one five blinky. So the higher the voltage, the better. So they're both seven five, three ampere hour, about a, about a thirteen point five turn motor, seven point three seven, four ampere hour, a mod, seven point two four, still identical. And then they, uh, I test them at five six and seven ampere hour. They both drop from seven point one eight, seven point one one, seven oh five oh four. Almost identical. Uh, the graphene had 7.9 ampere hours. The ultimate had 7.7, .7, so they're both above the 7.5 rating. And the temperature, well, about 31 degrees C and about 33 degrees C. Uh, very similar. And then I compared it to the LRP, their big stock spec 7500. It's supposed to be their best most powerful battery weighs 330 grams so it's pretty heavy on the IR it always says very low IR but I'm beginning to um, not rely on the IR readings anymore they not seem to be uh, I mean that's so so low you think it would be amazing so let's look at the voltage starts off 789 so it's a bit lower than it's the same as the 66 uh, batteries 783 instant drop same as the the 66s six then 600 milliamps 77 same as 66 six 763 which is same as the tangy graphene 744 is where the um, ultimate the 6.6 six is at 2 ampere hour uh, all became about 74 then 731 same 719, 718 at 4 ampere hour on the ultimates <coughs> and the um, LRP held up a bit better as, it, as it's a bigger capacity. Looking at these results, the LRP for the, mo for the first part of the race up to about um, 3 ampere hours, the 7.5 is no better than the 10 d 6.6. The 27.5s have the best voltages. These voltages may not look um, much different, but on the track you will notice a difference. Just small voltage, holding the voltage a bit higher. Possibly because you're on and off the power all the time and it probably delivers a better voltage when it's fluctuating up and down even better than on this constant load. So the best battery here is, is the Tandy Graphene and the Ultimate 7.5s. They, especially at two ampere hour, which is a 17.5 blinky, they will definitely hold, uh, be quicker at the end of the race, and um, all the way through if you would, if you were interested and in, in needed the power. So um, for an extra 10 grams or so, I reckon the if you can use the 7.5, it's definitely going to be a little bit better than the 6.6s. Six Otherwise, use the um, turn to the ultimate 6.6. Six. It seems to be equal to the graphene. Uh, seems to be exactly the same battery inside. And in fact, on, on the ultimate 7.5 and the graphene 7.5, again, the readings are identical and the weight is identical. I would say it's the same battery inside. I can't see how it can be a different battery. But um, anyway, those are the results. Uh, I haven't got any other um, batteries to compare to at the moment, but um, I just wanted to test the ultimates and um, 
That's what I found.